Hello everyone and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. I am so glad you guys stopped by today because I have some really fun things to share with you. I went shopping to one store with my sister this past week and I'm so excited because we have not been together thrifting in a really long time. Like I can't even remember the last time. I'm thinking like maybe back in December we went to the thrift store together. It, anyways, it has been a really long time. So of course, it was good to get to the store with her because it's not just thrifting and shopping. It's us chatting as we go down the aisles and stuff like that. So we always have a good time and it was fun to get back to the store with her. And of course, I did manage to find some really cool things to share with you guys this week as well. I have two items that I'm over the moon excited about. So I'm gonna share those at the very end. First, we'll get to the you know, sort of utilitarian sort of things first off. The first thing I picked up was a colander. I have been on the lookout for a vintage looking cal colander that I can use on a day to day basis for like months now and I'm not having very good luck. So I found one that was $2.99 so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and I'll use it for a while until I find the one that I really want. And it looks like this. It's just a simple colander. It looks like it's got the little handle and it's got little feet. So I think this will turn out and work out quite well. I'm thinking that this is actually because of the tiny little mesh in it. It might be more of like a canning one. I'm not really sure, but it will do the trick. You know, for like making noodles and all that kind of stuff. So I picked that up. I thought that was a good price. And it's sort of got that kind of, you know, I don't know, vintage look that I'm looking for. Not quite what I'm looking for, but it's getting closer than what I originally had. <laughs> so that was a good thing. All right, so this next item, you guys are probably going to laugh at me. But I saw it and I fell in love with it and I think I have an idea on how I can use it. It is a glass ashtray. It was $3.74 and it is ginormous. It looks like this. Look at how big that is and look at how beautiful it is. I'm thinking it's probably like a nine inch. I'm not really sure, but it is super chunky, super heavy, and absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So they had two of them. I had both of them in my cart at one point. And then I'm like, oh, I don't need two of them. I could just get one of them. So then I picked my favorite one. They were both slightly different styles of, on the pattern on the glass. I don't know if you can see that or not. But isn't that pretty? Um, the other one was a little bit different. So I just picked my favorite and put the other one back. And now I'm kicking. So my plan is to use this as a saucer for some house plants. I don't have any house plants right now. But something like that basically so i have this nice little tray to catch the water when i overflow my plant because i always seem to do that and i think it will look really pretty at the same time plus it will be functional because it's got this nice big lip in there can you see that i don't know it's got a nice big lip about an inch lip and i think this is going to work perfectly for that purpose so i'm super excited to try it out of course, I don't have any houseplants right now, but don't worry. I'll be got, buying one just so that I can use this. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. I think it is going to work out awesome. Plus, it is absolutely beautiful. This would also make a really nice like trinket tray in your bathroom, on your bedside table, something like that. I mean, I've never seen an ashtray this ginormous before, but I think it's pretty cool. So. Loving that, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. So moving on to the next items that I picked up, I picked up three books because I don't know about you guys, but this time of year when the weather gets colder, I like to spend my afternoons snuggled up on the couch, reading a good book, and you know, just hanging out. But I didn't have any books. So I checked out the book section and I found a few that I'm super excited to read. All right, so when I look through the books, I tend to go to the history section, biography section, that sort of thing, because that's what I really like. So the first book I picked up, it was 266, and then there's this one right here, Theodore Rex. 
I have not read any books on him, so I'm very excited. And it is by Edmund, what is it? Edmund, Edmund, Edmund Morris. I like that name, Edmund. Hmm. Anyways, all right, so I'm super excited about that. I've never read any books on theater um, before, so I'm super excited about that. So then the next book I picked up is, I picked up purely because I am a huge Packer fan, and it is The Life of Vince Lombardi, and the title is When Pride Still Mattered. So I picked up that book. This is a nice chunky book too, so that should take me some time. And then this last book I'm super excited about because, I don't know about you guys, but when I watch TV shows, I love like FBI and like CIS and NCIS, and all those little like, you know, mystery, murder mystery kind of shows. I love them. I eat them up. I like watching all of them. And so this one I thought was really cool and it's based in Minnesota, which I thought was really nice. It was 262 as well, and it is called Minnesota's Headline Murders from 1900 to 1919. I think this is going to be a very fun read. So this one's pretty small, but I like that it's like local history, and I read a little bit of it, and it's very interesting. So I think this will be a fun book to read. <laughs> so those are the three books that I picked up, and... I'm super excited to like dive into all of those. However, my weekends are quite full the next couple of weekends, so it'll have to wait a little bit, but now I've got myself a little mini library to read from. <laughs> all right, so then I have two more items to share with you guys, which are my absolute favorite finds of the week. And the first one is a hat. I picked it up for $4.12. I think it's got a little bit of a vintage-ness to it. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was super cool, so I had to pick it up. It is a simple black hat, like a bowler hat kind of, I think it is. But look at this. It's got the veil on the front, and then the back, it's got a lot of like netting stuff, and then it's got these long little tails. I just thought it was so cool. So I don't know if this is vintage or not, but I'm thinking it's probably from like, if it is vintage, I'm thinking it's from like the 80s or 90s. Um, just because of this big poof of tool in the back, that seems very 80s and 90s to me. Um, but I absolutely am fell in love with the, the veil in the front. I think that is so cool. Plus, I just love the shape of the hat. I think it's really neat. So inside it does say, let me get my glasses on, I'm sorry you guys. Um, it says, Excelsio 100% wool, made in the U.S., G.O.W. Bowman and Company, Incorporated. So I did look that up. Um, that brand, the G.O.W. Bowman, there's some hats out there from way back in like the 1960s. I'm pretty sure this is not a 1960s hat, but there also are ones with the Cloakland. Is that how you say it? Kokin. Kokin? K O K I N. Kokin, New York tag in it that are from like the 80s and the 90s. So that's, I'm thinking, where this hat is from. But it's so cool. I am in love with it. I think it's so neat. You know what? I haven't even tried it on. Let's go ahead and try it on. Oh, it's a little small for me, but that's all right. Look at that. How fun is that? <laughs> all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The netting's stuck on my... Oh, man. Okay. So, it's a little... So, the hat's a little small for me, but I didn't really buy it too wear it I bought it for like a display kind of a thing who knows I mean it could fit me it's slightly tight um I could wear it if I needed to but mostly I just got it because I thought it was super cool and I thought it was fun all right so the last item this week is a lamp it's actually the first item that I put into my cart and I think it is so adorable I love having little small lamps here and there scattered around the house uh, much more so than larger lamps. So when I see cute little lamps 
I'm always drawn to them. This one was $5.24 and it fits my house perfectly. Look at this. Isn't it adorable? I love this glass blown base. I think that is so pretty. It's got like white underneath and then clear glass on top. It is so unique and it reminds me of milk glass with the hobnob on it. I think that is so cool. And then look at the base. The base is like white marble and it is absolutely pretty. So I just had to get this. I'm pretty sure I have a lampshade that I can use for it. And I just think it is so adorable. I can't wait to use this. Um, it does have a sticker on the back. It says Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated Portable Lamp Issue Number 83214. So, um, that doesn't mean too much to me, but I do like that it's got a plug on it that does not look too old and that I love the shape of it. I love the color of it and I love that it's got the marble base. So totally in love with this lamp. I think it is so cool. So loving this so much. All right, guys, so that is what I picked up this week at the thrift store. I would love to know which of these items I picked up was your personal favorite. Let me know down in the comments. And, of course, if you went thrifting this past week, make sure you let me know what you found because I love to know such things. And before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. I think this is putting us into October, I think next week. Is that right, guys? I don't know. But just to remind you, when we get into October, I'm only doing Thrift Store Thursdays twice a month, the first and third Thursday of the month. Just gonna try that for a couple months. I announced that last week um, for Thrift Store Thursday. So once October comes, there'll only be two Thrift Store Thursdays um, to enjoy next month. But of course, I'll have some other things for you guys to enjoy here on my channel as well. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I will see you next time for another Thrift Store Thursday. Until then, happy thrifting. We'll see you soon. Bye.